So now here, in this one here, we say that we have a difference of squares. I will look at the first term and the last term. Are they a perfect square? Yes. If they are perfect square, I can now factorize them. But now look at this example here. In this one here, we have 24 g squared minus 6. Now look at these numbers, 20, 4 g squared minus 6. I told you that you must look at the first and the last term. Now look at the first term. Where's the first term? It's a 24. And the last term, it is 6. Is it 24? Is a perfect square? Look at this multiplication table here. Look at the yellow squares. Is it 24? One of them, one from them? No. 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 Is 6 one from them? Yes. 6? No. no. It's also no. So uh -huh. no. what I have to do, I will try to find, or I will you factor out the greatest common factor. So the first step now, I look at them here. I cannot factorize it using the uh, fact the GCF of the way that we learned before in lesson six. And this one, it's not a perfect trinomial, perfect square trinomial. And this one, it's not a difference of squares because 24 and six are not a perfect squares. So, okay, I will think now, how can I write it in a difference of squares? To do it like this, I have to take a greatest common factor. I have to factor out a common factor. So the first step here, we have to find the greatest common factor of 24 G squared and six. Let's now write all the prime factors of 24. They are three times two times two times two times G times G. This is for 24 G squared. For six now here, we have three times two. Now then, what I have to do now? Find the common factors. Yes. Which is six. Find the common factors. Which is what? Which is six. So after that now, we found that the greatest common factor is six. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Then after that now. So we found that the greatest common factor is six. Um, so here I will draw that we said that we have 24 G squared and we have six. They are three times two times two times two times G times G. And here we have three times two. Then after that, we find the common, we say it is six. So if you put six here, I will factor, right, factor out a six. For 24 G squared, which, oh, which what is the monomial will be left? Look here. What is the monomial that is left? Four. Four G. Four G. Squared. Squared. Minus the consensus we have here a minus sign. Minus. Now, if you factor out a six, what will be the man? Nothing. Or you can say it is one. Because as, as I told you, one is here hidden. So now it is one. Is it clear now? Yes.
Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Now after this step, I will come back now to look at it. Here now, look at the first and the last term. Are they squares now? Are they perfect square? The four? Yes. yes. And one? Yes. yes. They are written here in the yellow squares. So yes, they are perfect square. Since they are now a perfect square and we have a difference of a perfect square, I can do it like this now. This one is two squared, g squared, and this one is one squared. So, I will run them like this. I will keep up six. I will open two brackets. Since here we have two squares, I mean, I have two of two, one of two here, and the second two is here. Now, then G, two Gs, one here and one here. And we have two ones, one here and one here. Now, what about the sign between them? One is plus and one is minus. So this is a way now, how can we factorize this expression? Six, a common factor, two G plus one times two G minus one. Teacher, from where you got the 2g minus 1? I told you, here, this 4 is 2 squared, this g is squared. So this 2g, I'll distribute it. 2g here, and the other 2g in the second bracket. And this one here, it's 1 squared. 1 here, and the other one is here. And since we have a minus sign, that means it's a difference of squares, its factor, it must be have a positive and minus sign. Okay. What's your question? And why we made uh, plus one and minus one? It is a formula that so, says that if you have a difference of squares, the factored form will be plus 2g plus one, 2g minus one. Okay. 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 Now let's have this example here. Yeah. Look at the first one here. We have a twelve t squared minus forty eight. 12t squared minus 48. Look at them here. The first step, we have a difference of squares. I will look at the first one here. At 12 and at 48. Are they a perfect square? Yes. No, yes. no, no. Yes. 12 and 48, are they perfect square? Not yes. teacher. They're not. Yeah, yeah, teacher, teacher, they are. They are teacher. They are teacher. Yeah. 12 and 48. No, no. What six are times by six? What are the two seven. numbers? Four what four. are the same the two numbers that if you multiply them you get twelve? Four. Wait, no. Four times no, four get twelve? Six no. multiply by six equals twelve. No. No. I told you it was two times six. Not, they are not. They are not teachers. They are not. So they are not. So what I have to do, how can I factor them? It's not a perfect square trinomial. It's not on... Oh, it's not written on this way. That is, they have an x squared plus bx plus c. It's not written in this way also. I cannot factor it. It's not a square, a, a difference of two squares. It's not a perfect square trinomial. Okay, so what we have to do, 
Yes, we will use the GCF. We will find factor out the common factor. What are the two? Here we have 12 T squared and 48. Let's now factorize them to find the greatest common factor. Look at number 12 here. Number 12, it can be written as 3 times 2, two. times 2 T squared. And the 48, it's 3 times 2, times 2, times 2, times 2. 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 4 is 16. So, yes, 48. Then we will find now the common factor. What are the greatest common factor here? 12. 12. So back. We will put now or we will factor out now a greatest, a greatest common factor, which is a 12. After we factorize it, come back here. If you take or we factor out a 12, what will be remain? Uh, what, what is the monomial will be left? T squared minus 4. T squared, thank you. T squared. And here? 4. 4, yes. Now after that, after that, I look at them. After I look at them now here, what we found? We found that they are a difference of a perfect squares. We have here a 20 T squared and here we have a four. Or you can say here we have a one that is hidden and a four. They are a difference of squares or a perfect squares. I can now factorizing them. 12 here, open two brackets. Now here we have T squared. So T here and T here. The four, it is two squared. That's minus two plus two. And two here. And one is minus and one is a plus. So the factor form is two of a 12 T squared minus 48 is 12 times t minus 2 times t plus 2. Is it clear now? Yes, teacher. Yes, miss. Okay. Yes, teacher. Now, look at B. And B here, we have a 12 x squared plus 12 x plus a three. Look at them here. For this one here, um, oh, for any trinomial, I told you from the beginning that for the trinomial, we can factorize it using the, uh, oh, we can um, factorize it as this way. Two brackets, factor, find the GCF and factor them. This is the first way that we learned it in lesson six, that we say that if we have any trinomial, the first way we learn how can we factorize them by factor out the greatest common factor? So the first way by factor out the greatest common factor and they have in the way of x squared plus bx plus c, you can factorize them. This is the first way. The second way now, if it could be a square uh, difference of perfect square. So the second one here, here now, if it is a uh, difference 
of a square. Or if it is a perfect square trinomial. So now, if I have any trinomial, it could be factored in three ways. With the ways that, that we found the greatest common factor, and then we factorize them in the way of x squared plus bx plus c, or by using the difference of square, or by using the perfect square trinomial. These are the three ways that we learned how can we factorize them. Now, look at this one here. If you look at this one, is it a difference of squares? Teacher, can you repeat again? Look at this one here at B. Is it a difference of squares? Yes. No. Yes. No. It's not different. It's like squares, a squared, squared minus p squared. Is it written like this? No. 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 So I would say it's not a difference of squares. Let's run the step. Is it a perfect square? Trinomial? No. How can I know? Not yet, Chef. No, how can you know? The 12 is not a perfect square. Yes, I, I will look at the perfect, uh, the, at the first, sorry, and the last term. The first and the last term. Are they a perfect square? No. No. So I will say now, since it is no, so it's not a perfect square trinomial. Okay. What we have to do now? What we have to do now? I, um, teacher, I will factorize it like ax plus b plus c. I am multiplying 12. We have to find the GCF teacher. Okay, you have to use this way. For this one here now, you have to use it. For this one, what did we say? We say that we have to, to multiply 3 times 12, which is 36. We have to write all the factors of 36, which is what here. Did you remember if it is have ax squared plus bx plus c? You have to multiply a times c and factorize the factors of a times c, all the factors of 36. Is it right? Yes. Yes. So what are the factors of 36? 6 and 6, which will give me 12. 6 and 6, what also? 12 and 3. 12 and 3. Now, which pair of factors, the summation of them is 12? 6 and 6. 6 and 6. OK. So now we will use 6 and 6. Now, as we said before, we will write them like this. 12x squared plus this 12x, it can be written as 6x and 6x and 3. Then after that, cut them into two brackets. 12x squared and 6x, what do we have to do? Find the GCF. Which yes, is we will have to find the greatest common factor, which is 6 times 2 times x times x. Here we have 6 times x, so it is 6x. If you have 6x here, we will have 2x down minus, uh, sorry, plus 1. Oh. This is now, you find GCF times 2x plus 1. The second one here. Can I say something? Yes. Shouldn't it be 2 multiplied by 3? Yeah, two yeah, yeah. I wrote it here quickly. You, yes, it must be written as 2 times 3. 
Yes, then you multiply them to be 6. Then here, 6, 6, uh, 6, x, and 3. Let's take 2 as a common factor. Uh, sorry, 3 as a common factor. What you will have now? 2x plus 1. 2x plus 1. Then after that now? The remain will be 6x plus 3. 6x plus 3 times 2x plus 1. Is it right? Yes. Richard, I have a question. Yes, but wait for I want to just to continue here something after I okay. finish. Now here, I told you that we have a uh, six x plus three. Now six x plus three is not the simplest form because I can take a greatest common factor from them, which is a three two. Here this one, it's not the simplest one. It can be factorized. So, which is also three. Now take a three, a common factor from here. Right? What you will have? Two. Here, look here. Let's return them as six x and a three. Factorize them. Three and a three and two x. So if you get the three as a common factor, what you'll have be remain here? What will be left? 2x and 3. 2x no, and 3. Plus 1, sorry. Yes. Is it right? Yes. Times this one. Yes. Which is 2x plus 1. Then I can now write it as a 3 times 2x plus 1 squared. Is it clear? Teacher, why I made that? I mean, I took a simple 5, 6x plus 3 more. And I simplified it more. Because here, every time I'm, you have to know that, you know, must write the factored form, the most of the simplest factored form. Here, you have, a, a, look at the first one here, the second one, sorry, there's nothing common between them. But for six explicitly, you have something in common, which is a three. So you can write it now or factorize it now in this way. Now, this is a way that I can use it, but there's another way. Teacher, I factorize it from the beginning. Yes, that's uh, what I want to see. Yes, yes I want to okay. see. Here now, let's now factorize it from the beginning. Plus, what? Plus the three. Okay, let's now factorize it from the beginning. Let's have 12x squared here, 12x here, and a three here. Then, it's a three times two times two times x times x. 3 times 2 times 2 times x, and 3. So what are the greatest common factor here? It's a 3. Is it right? Yes. It's a 3. Then open a bracket. If you factor out a 3 from a 12x squared, what the monomial will be remain? Or be left? 4 x squared. Is this right? Yes. Now, in the second one here, if you factor a 3, yes. what's the, what is the monomial be left? 4 on 4x. Four four x. X. Four x. And down 1. Then, after that, look at this trinomial here. Is it a perfect square trinomial? Yes. How can I know? Yes. Look at the first term and the last term. Are they a perfect square? Yes. Yes, they are perfect squares. Yes. yes. Yes, they are perfect squares. So now it's so easy to me to write it as 2 squared x squared 
plus 4x plus 1 squared. Then don't forget the 3. Then after that, as we said yesterday, it is a perfect square trinomial. Pick one from the two, one from the x, so two and x. one from the one, and get the plus sign here, squared, because they have a same sign, 2x plus 1 squared. Then don't forget the 3. This is now, as you see, it's a very shortest way to find its factors. So now we learn or we know how can we factor this expression using two ways. Is it clear? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, teacher. So the first yes. step, if you have, if you see any trinomial, yes. look at them. The first step, if you see any trinomial, look at them. If the trinomial is a perfect square trinomial, it's so easy. I can factorize it by this way. If, it's, if it is a perfect square trinomial, if it is a difference of two squares, I write it as we learn a plus b, a minus b. If it is a trinomial, but neither a perfect square trinomial or a difference of squares, I can factorize it using the GCF way or the way that we talked about them before in lesson six. This is the three ways that can you factorize any uh, polynomial. Let's now choose one example from here. Um, 33, 34, 35. Look at them here. Look at 64 and 81. Oh, no, look at number 35. Yeah, look quickly, number 35 here. Thirty-five. What did we have? We have a nine n squared minus four hundred. Is it right? Yes. Yes. Now look at okay. uh, a nine n and four hundred. Are they a perfect square? Yes. Yes. So I will op factorize them into two brackets. What are these two? What I have to fill these brackets now here. 9 squared, oh, 9, it is what? It's a 3 squared. 3. And 400? 20? 20 squared. Where? Thank you. So 3 here, 3 and 3 and 20 here, 20 here, and 1 is minus, and 1 is plus. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, miss. Now, yes, teacher. let's do now. Now, which one you want to solve? 36, 37, 38. Yeah, like quickly. 37, 38. 38. 38. 38. Khalas, okay. Yes, yes teacher. Yeah, 38. In 38 here, we have 80 G squared minus. 45. This is not a trinomial. It is a, it must be a difference of squares. But if you look at them here, 80 and 45 are not a perfect square. Is it right? Yes, they're not. A so what we have to do, we have to find the GCF. 80 G squared and 45. Now, quickly, I have to write them as 9 times 5, 80 as 9 times, um, there's no time here left, 8 times 10, 90 or 9, no, uh, 5 times 9, 5 times 16. It's 9. 5 um, times wait. 16. Yes, it's 5. Nine. So let's take 5 as a common factor. We, I would 